Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and this is going to be video number one of my first time concealed carry series. Now, if you don't know what that series is all about, I'll give you guys a brief explanation. I live in Los Angeles, California, one of the absolute worst places for guns in the entire country. I cannot get a concealed carry permit here. However, I do have a Utah non-resident permit, which has reciprocity with Nevada, and I am heading to Nevada in just a few days for SHOT Show 2018. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chronicle my first experience concealed carrying outside of the house. Now, I say outside of the house because I work from home and I have a gun on me at all times. Sometimes it's concealed, sometimes it's not. So I have several different holsters and I've gone through quite a bit of training. So this is not going to be something that's necessarily completely out of the box for me. But as far as how I'm going to feel about walking around in public with a gun is going to be something that is new. So I'm going to basically chronicle my adventures as a first time concealed carrier. And I'm going to tell you guys everything that I'm feeling. I'm going to be as honest and open as possible. So that's the series. What we're going to be doing today in the first video is going over my EDC for this series. So we're going to start off with EDC. First off, I want to thank the sponsors. This video series is brought to you by the following sponsors. Hidden Hybrid Holsters, superior quality, comfort, and concealment. And Core Essentials, makers of quality, highly adjustable EDC gun belts. Now, before we go over the fun stuff, the guns, the holsters, and the belts, let's go ahead and go over my standard EDC. This is what I carry every single day where I live. This is what's legal for me to carry, and this is what I use. It basically covers a multitude of bases, and this is also what I'm going to be carrying uh, when I go to Nevada. That part's not going to change. So what I have here is my Benchmade Griptilian. This is a fantastic knife. You can see it's got uh, kind of like a modified drop point Tonto blade. A very nice knife. I like it a lot. It is not assisted. It's just a very fast opening knife, and this is what's always on me. So I have my Benchmade Griptilian right there. The light that I've been carrying for quite a while now is actually by WowTac. This is the WowTac, uh, let's see what the model is here, the WowTac A1S V2. This is the Black Scout Survival Edition right here. Uh, Black Scout Survival is another YouTuber here and he had some uh, elements in design. You can see right here that it's got a pretty mean looking crenulated bezel uh, for striking and submission. So that's a pretty good little tool that I keep on me as well. And then I also always have uh, my my um, Leatherman. So this Leatherman sidekick right here has been fantastic. I've had it for years. I think I got this back in 2012 and I've had it on me every single day since 2012. So my knife, my flashlight, my multi-tool go with me everywhere. All right, now let's go ahead and we'll talk about the primary gun that I'm going to be carrying here for my first time. And it took a lot of thought to really come to this particular conclusion because I have two guns that are great for carrying here. The Smith & Wesson M&P Shield in 9mm and the Glock 19 obviously also in 9mm. Both are great choices and these are both guns that I carry around all the time. This one is very easy to carry. It's extremely light, very thin, light profile. I mean, it's a very easy gun to carry. This right here is also an easy gun to carry, but it's a little bit thicker, a little bit wider. Um, it is a, a bigger gun, but I shoot this one just a bit better than I shoot this one. And I think that has to do with the grip, a little bit wider grip, a little bit thinner grip, a little bit shorter grip. I just, this one right here, I'm more accurate with. And when you're talking about, you know, possibly having to defend yourself, accuracy is going to be a big issue. So I've decided to carry this one primarily. Now, the holster manufacturer that I have decided to go with for this carry series is Hidden Hybrid Holsters. They are a company that I have years of experience with. I've reviewed multiple holsters from them in the past, and they make some of the most comfortable holsters that you will ever see. Extremely nice, well-crafted holsters. As you can see, it's leather and a Kydex mix, and that's you know what makes it the hybrid. And it's just a, a really, really nice holster. So we'll go ahead and we'll reach around here, grab the, uh, the Glock, and you can see that it fits in there very, very nice. So it carries well. These are great holsters. I'm really happy with them. And this is going to help me get the most out of the concealability of the Glock 19 by basically allowing for kind of a more deep carry. So you can see the pocket clips, they come all the way up here. So it's gonna be nice and deep in my carry. I won't be able, you know, won't be printing too much because this is gonna be further down. So again, like I said, I have plenty of experience carrying firearms. I carry them all day. And I have a lot of experience with this particular holster manufacturer. This is a holster that I've had for a long time. As you can see, it's like permanently formed to my body right there. And this one right here is for the shield. So if I carry day one and I decide that I don't want to go with the Glock 19 on day two or I want to switch it out, I do have another hidden hybrid holster right here that will work perfect for my shield. But right now we're going to work primarily with the Glock 19 again because accuracy. I feel very confident when I have this firearm. Now another thing that we have here is a hidden hybrid holsters universal magazine carrier. This thing's really cool because 
I can use this with whatever gun that I decide to carry. It will hold a single stack, a double stack. It actually comes with multiple attachments and rubber inserts right here. So you can change out these rubber inserts and switch it over to a single stack, double stack, and you could fit you know, several different types of magazines. And it's extremely comfortable. It's got a really soft suede on the back. So it's gonna feel nice up against your body versus some other you know, just straight up Kydex holsters and things like that. Having that nice suede is gonna feel pretty good. So I can switch between this uh, magazine right here, this magazine right here, or any other magazine for the most part that I want. So it's gonna be nice to carry that and nice to carry it with this. So hidden hybrid holsters for both the magazine and for the Glock 19 and the shield. So let's go ahead and talk about the belts. Now, all three belts that you see right here are from Core Essentials. Core Essentials makes my absolute favorite EDC belt. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing the same one right now that I've been wearing since 2015, and it's held up really well. But one of the things I like about the Core Essentials EDC uh, gun belts is the fact that they do have a really nice rigid design. As you can see here, they have uh, three different belts for three different occasions. This is a really nice uh, brown leather. I'm wearing a black leather right now. And then we have this tan nylon and black nylon. So different belts for different occasions, right? But one of the great things about these belts are they are very nice, very rigid, and they use the track line system. Now, the great thing about the track line system is instead of taking your belt off or going through belt loops that can stretch out, uh, which are typically spaced around a half an inch, sometimes even more, these are quarter inch clicks. So you can make really fine, like minor adjustments. If you feel that maybe your, your gun's starting to slip just a little bit and you, you know, are constantly pulling up on your belt, you can just click it one quarter inch and just tighten it up and cinch it up just a little bit more. And that's my favorite part about these belts. They are excellent. You know, they, they just kind of ratchet through and they're very easy on, very easy off. The belt buckles for these that work with these are great because what they do is they ratchet onto this system right here. They give you a little lever that you push and that lever releases this thing at the bottom which hooks onto those little grooves right here and allows you to quietly open and close your belt. So if you're at dinner and you have a big steak dinner or something like that, you can open it one or two notches without embarrassing yourself. But still, I think that that is fantastic and they last long. Like I said, the one that I have on right now, I've had on since or I've been using since 2015 and it's it's held up incredibly well. As a matter of fact, I've used that EDC belt through multiple classes, self-defense classes, pistol classes, CCW classes. I've used core essential belts in all of those classes. So I'll show you guys the different options that we have for the belt buckles here. Kind of different different looks and designs for each one but uh, they're really nice well, nice looking and they're lightweight these are extremely lightweight belts but still manage to be extremely extremely rigid so uh, they'll hold the holsters up really nice i got to tell you having a good belt is one of the most important parts uh, of carrying a firearm now with this series i'm going to be as honest with you guys as possible you know i know that there are times where i'm probably going to embarrass myself and that's okay. I want to be as honest with you as I can with my emotions, my feelings, and what I'm thinking during my first time concealed carrying. And I can tell you right now, I'm already a little bit paranoid. I have a feeling that people are just going to be staring at it the whole time. And that's one thing that I've heard from other people to expect. Expect that people that you're going to feel like people are staring at it. But try and ignore it. Know that they're not, and and just try and move on. But I can tell you right now, just you know. It's one of those things. I really feel it already that when I go out of the house for the first time, and I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to vlog it, so it's going to be a little bit different than my standard videos, but I'm going to vlog it. When I get across the Nevada state line, I'm going to get out of the car. I'm going to grab my pistol. I'm going to holster up, and I am going to uh, head on out. that will be the first time I've ever had a gun on me outside of the house where I'm not at a range or a training type scenario, so it's going to be new for me. I'm a little bit paranoid about it. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit nervous. You know, one of the nice things that I know is that I'm confident in, in my shooting abilities. And I think that that's probably going to be one of the most important things is, is confidence because I, how do you beat training? If you have all this gear and equipment that you see right here and you don't know how to use it, then I can imagine that that could actually lead to a tragedy that maybe, you know, you don't want to deal with. So I think that the training that I've taken and the preparation that I've gone through to get to this point where I'm at right now before I've ever carried a gun for the first time is what's going to help me out when I'm out there. If I were to run into a situation, I know how to handle myself and I know that my shots for the most part are true. Obviously I've never been encountered, you know, I've never encountered a deadly encounter. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully I never have to in my entire life. But at the same time, again, I've gone through the training prior to this. So that's a really important part. 
Uh, we'll see how it all goes. I will update you guys in a couple days. I'm going to be leaving on Monday. Today is Saturday. And once I cross that Nevada state line, I will go ahead and I'll record uh, everything so you guys will see, see my adventure. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, check out the sponsors below. Have a great day.